Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. It is hotter than a $2 pistol outside. Um, and I am taking a break. I've got some brooders to clean out. I got quail chicks hatching right now. Four of them so far, so I gotta get this brooder cleaned out, disinfected, put new bedding in it, and uh, put the waterers and feeders and get them all squared away. But I figured I would stop and talk to y'all for a minute today about what's going on. So a company called PJM, which controls the eastern half or eastern third of the power grid, has declared a level one emergency for potential power loss in that area which is a pretty large area if you're not tracking and <clears throat> so you might be thinking well what do I do about that well first thing I did when I heard that was I filled up my bathtub now if you have a bathtub I would go fill it up just like any other power outage it's extra water for you to have um, <clears throat> No, the heat is a factor because it is really hot. Uh, the heat is a factor that really complicates a power outage, especially for the young and the elderly, those more susceptible. So if you don't have any air conditioning, what do you do? Well, whether you have a box fan or not, a box fan does help. And if you have a power source, you take a box fan you open your front and your back door and you put you take a sheet you soak it in water and you hang it in your door frame area <clears throat> excuse me so you hang that up and as wind blows through it whether it be from a fan or just from the natural wind outside or the natural breeze uh, you, have, you experience something called evaporative cooling. So as the air passes through that wet sheet, it cools the air because obviously if you've ever gotten out of a swimming pool or anything, you know that water makes you, it, you're colder once you get out of the water. Well, any, and that's why we sweat, to cool our bodies down. It's called evaporative cooling. So, that is one way, especially if you have a box fan. If you have a box fan, it's really going to help. And one of those things that we as preppers strive to get is generators and uh, solar generators and things like that. And I have all of that, all of those things. So I will have a mode of cooling myself. The next thing I would advise you to do, as far as heat is concerned is hot air rises cool air sinks so the lowest floor possible for you to go to if it gets really hot i would recommend you to go there uh so especially a basement like if you have a sub subterrain basement something that's underground that is the best place to go because a basement typically or anything underground typically stays a constant temperature year-round so it doesn't freeze in the winter and it doesn't get hot in the summer which is why a lot of you know uh, your uh, root cellars and things like that are so good is because they stay a constant cool temperature and it helps with the preservation of foods it also could help with the preservation of you so one thing I would encourage y'all to do is if you don't have any other option stick to your lowest floor have some sort of evaporative cooling whether even if it's in a window if you have a window that's you know gets a good breeze through it hang up a wet sheet in there that will help um, and if you know someone or have a friend that has a basement, that will help as well. But not everyone has basements, so 
If you don't have a basement, stick to the lowest floor. And <clears throat> just uh, make sure everything's topped off. Make sure your fuel tank is topped off. Because worst comes to worst, if you need to get in your vehicle and you need to have AC or even just drive around with the windows down if your AC don't work, that would be better than nothing. And I'm not saying this is going to be an extended power outage, and I'm not also not saying that we're even going to have a power outage. However, the possibility of it has been put out there, and all of the power plants in the area are actively working at full capacity under direct orders of the grid. So we're topped off. If we exceed that, it's going to be catastrophic failure to the point where they need to reset some stuff, potentially. And in this heat, like I've said before, it's going to be dangerous. So, if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, put it down below in the comments. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you know, things like that for other people that may not have access to certain things of different ways to stay cool or different things to do put it down below if you have any past experience with it put it down below anyhow hopefully you guys got something out of this if you did do me a favor like share subscribe and i'll talk to you later